The 11th of November is a date that stands in modern history as the date on which the Great War ended. At 11am on the 11th of the 11th, the guns officially fell silent, marking the end of a conflict that had scarred the world and killed or wounded some 40 million people. Our school particularly remembers the 44 men who were once boys like you, who stood in this place at one point and who gave their lives up in service. And today we particularly remember James Whittaker, whose story was presented to us so movingly by the co-curricular drama group on the quad yesterday. Uh, he stood with Schoolhouse 96 years ago when the headmaster and Chris Kong turned the page of that book, the name Jim Whittaker is written in there. This is the story behind that name. Remember his story. Never, ever forget it. Be the custodian of his story and the men who gave their lives for us. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. We knew we couldn't win, so before the final advance, a boat was organised to evacuate important personnel and officers. Whitaker was a corporal. Shut up, mate! And a signalman. I had a place reserved for me on that boat because he gave up his seat. Why? He knew I had a wife and two kids. Some decisions are pretty simple. Obvious. You see what you have to do, and just do it. Hey, James R. Whitaker, NX 722770, Corporal, Captain of the 2nd 15th, Member of the 2nd 11th, one thing certain, he didn't come second that day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the freedom we enjoy in this country. We are conscious that this freedom was won at such great cost we especially remember those from this school who gave their lives for the cause of liberty and justice. Let their sacrifice not be in vain. And shed abroad your peace in the hearts of all people. Banish from them the spirit that makes for war. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. 